Ladies and gentlemen, Dropkicks welcomes you to March Ilford Mania. Making his way to the ring now, one half of the Dropkicks Tag Team Champions, Stephen Doxy of the Flying Scotsman. Joining me here in the commentary box, I've got the fabulous Lucas Jackson. Well, hello, darlings. Here we are, of course, March Ilford, and uh, Stephen Doxy making his way to the ring. Obviously, I have actually faced uh, um, Gary Doxy myself. I've uh, fell victim to him, so I know how dangerous this, this tag team is. They're one of the best tag teams in Britain, um, by far, for, for certain. Um, and obviously, they'll be looking, looking to impress here tonight. And big favourite with the crowds, but also his opponent, who will be entering any moment now, the Tiger Kid. Both of them also noted for being high flyers when they can. Whereas, of course, I mean, um, you know, the, the Flying Scotsman, they, you know, they get the flying from that name, of course, and obviously they, they, they are, have been known to fly around that ring very, very fast. Um, and the Tiger Kid, of course, one of the, the newest Tiger Flyers that we've got on our roster, but still an impressive guy. You know, I faced him, um, I've him, <laughs> I say, but um, he is one tough kid, and that's, that, 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 you know, that goes without saying. And of course, says our resident at Luchador, bringing something international to drop kicks, coming from Mexico. Could say this is completely international. Of course, the Scotsman coming from Scotland. Yeah, of course. I mean, Scotland obviously is an international country. They want independence, I guess. Um, but here we are, the start of this one. Um, we have, uh, I believe that's John Ritchie there, as the MC. Uh, referee for this one will be Maxine Paler. Um, you see, they're just uh, at the moment, they're getting a. The you know, they're going to get, the, get in the uh, mood for the match here. You know, what goes through your head as you start the match. Maxine there, of course, checking the boots, checking the fingernails of both competitors. Especially have to check the fingernails with the Tiger Kid. And of course, those claws, of course. And obviously, in any second, we will have uh, the match the bell. kick off. There we go, there's the bell. Let's go for this one. Pokemon lock up there, Colin Elbow, into uh, what looks like he's trying to for a wrist lock there, I believe. He gets it, he's got it locked in. A nice reversal there. Nice traditional rolls, straight out of it. It's really just the warm-up phase of the match for these two. Well, they have to fill each other out, you see. Now, obviously, now uh, the Tiger Kid now has got that that locked in. A nice counter there by Stephen Doherty, of course. He's not going to be. It's not going to be an easy match for either competitor. I'm the thought so. No, both playing at the same sort of strengths. I mean, I, I would give the edge with the quickness to the Tiger Kid. He's, he's that little bit lighter. Um, but being a little bit taller here um, of the two competitors, um, I don't know if that will play anything into this as they go into a Swiss lock, into, into, a, weight, uh, into a waist lock reversal. Stephen Doherty, though, he's got the more experience of the two. Whereas, of course, he's a 10 year veteran here at Dropkick, so one of the finest tag teams in Britain, you know, five time record breaking, breaking their own records, tag team champions. There's into a headlock into the ropes, they go. Off the ropes, and oh, Tiger Kid down with a bump there. What a collision. Over the top. Catch him with a nice crossbow. That, you know, these pins at the beginning, oh, that was very, very close. But they do take it out of you. They do, and obviously you're trying to catch your opponent off guard there into a double duck, triple duck, and a crossbody of his own there. They match each other move for move as uh, the match continues here after a two count. With those crossbodies, not only are you hitting the mat, you've got someone landing on top of you. Oh, Ooh. and look at the height he gets that for that arm drop. Now just working around that on that left leg, of course. Which you want to do against a high flyer. Well, yes, not just a high fly, but someone, of course, you know, he has got the, height, the slight height advantage. So, obviously, if you take some off their feet, they are, you know, all yours for taking. But back into a wrist lock now from the Tiger Kid. Really applying pressure. And, obviously, now he's already been in that once. He's, he, he, you know, he, he's felt the move before. And it's not a move you want to feel for, for much longer, I have to admit. Uh, if the Tiger Kid can get that uh, oh, into a nice... Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, Karana there. This could be it. One, that two, one. Oh. And that brings you right down on your neck. It does the full force. Oh, caught him there. Caught him there. With a, I think it was, that was on the left hand, I believe. The I think there was a lot of shoulder in that as well. Throws him over. Now around the back again. He's trying for a suplex. Oh, but he takes him down. I think I think uh, the Tiger there just shift his weight a little. Allowed him, you know, allowed him to... Allowed him to get him down. But that there... A very traditional move, if, if you've ever seen actual Highland wrestling, mm. that's very, and, and this is back to the old traditional wrestling moves here. 
where he's trying to, uh, obviously Stephen Dockett being the most experienced of the two, is trying to get that advantage to wear the Taika down. But the last thing he wants is Taika to get the momentum and to get some speed. But here we are, they are matching each other hold for hold, it seems here. It's reversal after reversal, counter after counter. But we're getting into the real submission moves now. Indeed we are, that courting hold there, into the throw. And you never know how painful it is till it's been on your elbows. Of course, and the referee obviously checking there that the shoulders of Tim Doherty aren't down. But you see the positioning. Tim Doherty is making sure that his shoulders are not down. Because this is a move that can catch you out, has caught people out in the past, and you can end up getting pinned from, you know, from basic submission. But Tim Doherty being the experienced here, bringing it back up, into the corner and off the ropes. Oh! Oh! Oh, and a nice uh, sunset flip there, beautiful manoeuvre. Tiger just kicks out. Oh, that slide attempt. Tiger from... goes over there. Oh, what a shot there! What a shot! That is going to be his bells. Oh, oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, there we go. Stephen Dock need the win, no doubt. <laughs> what a collision that was! What oh. a collision! What a match! I've got to say. The winner of this match, Stephen Doherty there, as he goes on to our uh, show next month at South End, and they'll be facing, the Longby brother will be facing Team Perfection, Picture Perfect Ted Khan, and his brother Johnny Gill. Um, but very impressive there from both competitors, having a hug and a shake of hands, very professional there. So I can kid, his head still ringing from that one. <laughs> Definitely, I would have thought so. He'll be ringing for a good few weeks. Uh, great contest. And Stephen Doherty there, with his tag team title belt, they will be defending at South End. The crowd loving it. 11th of May. It'll be the Flying Scotsman against Team Perfection. And if you want to get more details of the match, go to www.dropkicks.com for details of all our shows. We've got so many coming up. Ilford, South End, Brentwood, all in the near future. www.dropkicks.com I've got the fabulous Lucas Jackson with me. I've been the mysterious Sissy Body Voice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>